So I will read out uh, a small text uh, about someone who has been imprisoned at the uh, when 19 years old. So nature was celebrating uh, spring, and I remember the trees. I remember the flowers that were in contrast to the blue sky, and I was impressed by the beauty of nature and the cruelty of those soldiers. I was watching all this, thinking that I was living my last hours on Earth. I never felt the spiritual communion within with this universe. It's as if I took from life that what it could give me uh, what is most uh, important. And I also was quite indifferent uh, towards those who may uh, kill me. But at the same time, I was very aware of the beauty of the flowers, of the trees, of this natural aesthetics. This they wouldn't be able to get away from me. So that's a uh, mother of two children describing beauty. This is what I try to, to impregnate my children with, um, to have the ability to be astonished by different flowers. The beauty of the landscapes uh, helps the surviving. And sometimes I hear uh, my son nine years, who talks about the beauty of a landscape, of an object, as if it was justification enough for its very existence. And this is also part of the values that we have to make sure we trade down to the uh, following generations. A testimony. I was, I intended uh, to make Sure, or I wanted to point out that most of uh, our uh, speakers were women, today at least, and uh, this is quite important, a uh, quite important uh, property. This is just all I wanted to point out. So, uh, just uh, this morning, when I left the hotel and uh, arrived here, uh, just next to the old bridge, I think, uh, or rather Pont Vieux, I think that most of uh, the citizens of Carcassonne know this bridge, and they are uh, trimming uh, all the plane trees on one of the sides, so you don't see any leaves. They cut off the, the branches, and as, uh, well, the children were off to school, um, and sometimes were accompanied by the parents. And I saw in the eyes uh, of the children that they were quite frightened by this big machine that was uh, with chains that was cutting away the trees. I really, I, I sensed there was some, some fear in the in their eyes, uh, some fear in, the, in these children's eyes who were not really understanding why you would do such a thing, I imagine, being naive as they are. We had invited Mrs. Jurgensen, who is a member of the League for Road Safety, uh, because of the death of two of her daughters uh, during a car crash. Uh, that was the reason why. Now, the question was, can we recover from this misery, from uh, from, from, from this and what resulted in a book called Rage and Desperation. And the thesis was uh, that the beauty can be healing. For the first time, that's just an excerpt, for the first time in April, I saw something greater than the destiny of my own and of my daughters. I was in a constant on a, on a constant pressure to survive, and out of the blue, something abstract presented itself to me. The beauty, something that moves me and something that doesn't 
that doesn't um, a, um, a, frighten me. So Mrs. Jorgensen would have liked to uh, join this conference, but the fact is uh, um, she says that when it came to the questions of, of cutting down the, the, the trees, the, the plane trees, um, it was a bit hard for her to, to, to face this topic. Uh, as I've said, she had uh, this, uh, she, uh, her, t her two daughters died in, in, in an accident that involved uh, a tree, so she preferred not to join the conference.